folks, it's Grimwit from Nat Evil. We're playing High School Dreams, Best Friends Forever, Get Jacobs PD. PD Jacobs. Oh, hey, Mom sent me an allowance. An allowance of money. Hi, I'm taking a survey. Could you tell me what your favorite movie is? Lag. Lag. Extreme Surf 4, man. Shark's Revenge all the way. Even if it wasn't as good as the novel. I love cool. this guy's teeth. Thanks for the help. Okay. Next. Oh, wait. How's it hanging? Hanging pretty well. Hi. I'm taking a survey. Could you tell me what your favorite movie is? Yeah. There's this film called One Thousand Masks. Blinding. Wow, that was fantastic. Speaking of fun, let's talk to... Rumor ben. has it, you're a bit of a punk. Rumor has it, you're the gullible new girl. Rumors are tricky things. Speaking of tricky, I could use your help since I have detention. Detention? Something about an exploding drinking fountain that I had nothing to do with, I'm sure. I'm sure. Anyway, I'm supposed to meet someone at the park. Could you go for me? Uh, he's talking without moving his lips. Evil. Evil. Yeah, I'll do it. The park? Sounds harmless. Unless the drinking fountains there are rigged, too. Great. All you have to do is meet a girl on a bench beside the golf course. You act like she'll be the only girl in the park. The one I'm talking about will be wearing a pink carnation. Clever. And she will know the passcode. Not so clever. Uh, hey, you can never be too careful. Says the boy on his way to detention. Exactly. Now, you need to tell her, the night owl flies at midnight. And she will reply, all roads lead to Rome. <laughs> Come up with that yourself? Naturally. You deserve detention. However, if she forgets the passcode, just tell her Benny sent you. Something tells me I'm gonna forget the passcode. I don't know why I'm even doing this quest. I'm not even remotely interested in Benny. Hi, I'm taking a survey. Could you tell me your favorite movie? Extra Amazing Man! Really? No, not really. All right, my favorite movie is The Quiet Tea Party! But I'll deny everything if you quote me on that. I promise, it's completely anonymous. Thanks for your help. Isn't The Quiet Tea Party a rated X film? Ah well, why is everybody talking to you? Oh my gosh. Do. Not. Move. Can. Can I. I breathe? breathe? I'd rather you didn't, but if you do, make it quick. Let me just line you up. There. <laughs> Feel free to breathe now. Oh, thanks. Breathing helps. So, can't you get in trouble by running around taking pictures of people? It's not like I was in the girls' bathroom. Besides, I had to take the picture. You reminded me of the actresses of the 40s and 50s. <laughs> oh, how sweet. You think I look like I'm 90 years old? Wait, I'm photogenic? Yes. No. Uh, okay, well, wait. Uh, yes, you're photogenic. No, you don't look 90. You look like they did back then. You know. Greta Garbo, Rita Hayworth? Sorry, before my time. Maybe you'd like to reminisce with my grandma sometime. <laughs> it doesn't matter. They were... Well, many people thought they were beautiful. I see. Well, thanks for the compliment. I'll have to check them out on the internet sometime. You never told me your name. Or should I just call you Mr. Paparazzi? No. Eugene is fine. Well, it was nice to meet you, Eugene. And Miss Trimble sends you her regards. What? Oh man, not those pictures again. That lady just doesn't give up. I'm already up to my eyebrows in work. I better take them to her now. I just can't stop looking at Eugene's flappy jaw. But uh, hey, we need to talk up to him about surveys. Eugene, Eugene, wait a second, Eugene, stop. Talk to me about a survey. E Eugene, do you like movies? Do you like beans? Would you like to see movies with beans? Oh my god, I stopped. Ah, oh, you walked straight through me. Witch, witch, witch. <laughs> Just 
<laughs> I loved Eugene so much that I had him as my... Well, I still have him as my avatar on something awful. That jaw. That flappy jaw. Alright, let's see. I think it says we need one more boy in our objective. Yeah, we have three out of four boys. Okay. We need one person. One more person. I know Eugene's one of them. I, I assumed it was. Six o'clock already? I need to get out of here before they lock me in. Yeah, crap. Um, well, let's do Benny's quest, I guess. After I finished playing with the buttons. we. Oops. 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 Wait, wait, wait. That was too fast. Can I get an instant replay? <laughs> awesome. So where was I? Oh, wait, wait, back up. There's a checkpoint back here. Here we go. Saving, and life is good. I'm assuming you're the contact. Hi. Hello. Cute carnation? Thanks. Listen, I'd love to talk, but I'm expecting someone. I know. Benny sent me. Sorry, but you must have confused me for someone else. Ah, Jesus. Alright, let's do this. Don't judge me for this. For what? Uh, the night owl flies at midnight. All roads lead to Rome. Phew. You're the right person. I... Listen. I've got the info Benny needs. It's on the bench. Don't. I repeat, don't pick it up. Until after I leave. Okay. Why does everybody in Charm Spring, or at least all the girls, put their hands over their mouths? Now, I would think they're smiling or whatever, but they're also talking while they're doing it. All I can think of is an instinctive response to try and feed themselves. But that doesn't make sense, because they're all anorexics. Huh. Oh, yeah, well. This is the golf course. This is not the whole golf course. I, I'm actually not even sure if this particular hole shows up anywhere in the golf course mini game, but here it is. And as you can see, people walk around it, because, um, physics. Let's play. Alright. <clears throat> I'm going to make an excuse that I don't normally make. Fraps is at fault here. <laughs> this for some reason, the frame rate gets all wonky as I'm playing golf. Because I, I tried this as a practice run on my other character, um, Grace Moody. And for whatever reason, Fraps makes it really hard to control how powerful my swing is. So that's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. Uh, for the most part, the game is pretty goddamn simple. You hold down the mouse for power, you let up, and then you do a dance, as seen here. Okay. In any case, um, it's a pretty straightforward mini-golf game. If you've played, like, a Flash version of mini-golf, you've played this game. I am okay at it. I'm not the best. I am okay. The, uh... I might also be able to claim as an excuse the horrible, horrible color of Liz's pants. Plaid, puce, and... What kind of green is that? Huh. Oh, well, here we go. I... What? No way. Let's try that again. Hang on. Line it up. So let's see if I can get through here. And boom. Son of a bitch. Alright, one more time. 
I'll just bounce off here. Well, I'm closer. Okay. Aim for the hole. Don't even bother trying to time this. Just go. Or miss it by an inch. All right, all right. Timing's not my issue. I know that. Just do it. Fucking hell. All right, all right, all right, all right. I, I got this, I got this. Boom. Shit. I swear, I swear, I can do this. Boom. God damn son of a bitch. Honky ass mother... Fucker. All right, back up, back up, back up. Calmly, aim, take the shot, go. Yes, yes, I'm in the windmill. I'm in the wind. I'm out of the windmill. I am falling fucking out of the windmill. Ah, <laughs> how much must, must murder everyone with golf. Yay, I did it. And all I need to do is just the tiniest pinprick into the hole. And one more. I blame Fraps. <sighs> yes. Wish. Wish for PD. Wish. Well, that wasn't quite enough. I'm not sure how the score is counted. Oh well. Okay. Ooh. Checkpoint. Ew. Now, I want to make up for something I did last episode. I think it was last episode. It's been a while since I've recorded. Oh, another checkpoint. Ew. First, I'm going to start off with doing something I would not normally do. I'm going to turn the sound up, or the music up. And I'm doing that because of this wonderful soundtrack that I, I really should not have skipped last time. So let's try for silver. You'll understand here in a second. I need this to be the soundtrack to my life. <laughs> now, unfortunately, uh, again, Fraps causes a bit of lag, and it has been this entire episode more so than I'm used to. I'm not sure why. Um, I, I guess I gotta restart my computer next time. I don't know. <sighs> this music. Best music ever. <laughs> um, so, the second course, whoa, is not as bad as, well, is really not that much more challenging than the first course. It's just a matter of, uh, there's really no strategy. You move left, you move right, you jump. What a blast. How are you guys? You, you doing good? Leave a comment if you're doing good. Leave a comment for no reason. I should have sped this up. But I didn't. Because honestly, there's, there's just nothing else to say about it. I like her helmet. Whenever you beat these things on gold, you get a certain, um, a certain outfit. You know, like uh, later on, um, off screen, I, I do a lot of dancing with or without music, and I, um, I do it mostly because it's the best way to get money, like thousands of dollars from the creep who installed the security camera in your bedroom. Well, I'm, I don't know what the 
gold outfit you can get for skating is. I'm hoping it's that helmet. Maybe it'll show up as like a hair option. Oh crap. I can kind of see that. Just walk around school with a skating helmet. Because I see a lot of rollerbladers. Rollerbladies? Wearing skating helmets. It's fashionable. Yes. Yes, we know. We know. So anyway. Uh, yeah, I guess that'll do for now. I'm the best skater in the world. Look at me ride this skate. I get the gold star. <laughs> Lizzie, you're the best skater I've ever seen. I love you. I love you too, Petey. <laughs> the fuck is wrong with me? <laughs> oh, man. What's our horoscope say today? Hmm. Okay. That's... I, I don't know why they call it horoscope. Let's go ahead and do what they say and try to get in touch with our friends. No, no, that's right. Emily doesn't like us anymore. So let's try and, and warm up to Olivia here. Um... How are you? <laughs> See what that does. <laughs> I don't know that it'll do anything. Okay, we got some shopping to do now that we have tons of money. Oh, wait. Olivia sent us a message. And she's busy. So we can't hang out with her. Whatever. Uh, anyway, I got a ton of money, um, and I need to spend it. I need to spend it all. Wait, but first, gossip time. Harper's rep is all wrong. She's as sweet and cuddly as a kitten. I'm not sure Chuck would agree with you. Who's Chuck? I don't know Chuck. Why do I know Chuck? Not, it can't be that Chuck. Oh well. So let's start with leather. I can assure you that all of our leather is the highest quality. Never trust gay gingers. That's a good look on you. Th thanks, I, I guess. Tell your friends about Afonso's. What friends? Anyway, I'm not going to show you the shopping. It, it would ruin the surprise, but mostly because, I mean, it's just shopping. How can I help you? You look really familiar. Haven't I seen you before? Oh, ah, well. Um, picking out stuff that for That looks Petey. real good. Brings out your eyes. You'd say that. You're a Texan. See you soon. You, you look really familiar, man. Next shop. Let's see. Past the shoes. Welcome to Couture. If I may be of assistance to you, please let me know. You look really familiar. Have I seen you before? No, nah, we're not doing Kachar. It's way too expensive. How can I help you, dear? Um. I'm, I'm here, here for, for the, the job. job. Oh, lovely. It's a basic rate for all items, and I'll give you a bonus if you do it quickly. Yep. <laughs> Welcome to the match game. With a twist. You have to match outfits this time, and you have a minute to do it. Well, a minute 15. Whatever. I'm terrible at this game. <clears throat> I'm... I'm... I do alright on bronze. <laughs> but... I always love to do people's laundry. It makes me so happy to see clean clothes. You don't take this job for... I just the... love to see all the clothes come out nice and clean and fresh creepy. You don't play this game for the match game. Or the money. You play the game for one reason. I love dirty laundry. You play it for her. <laughs> every, <laughs> every time you match, she claps like a trained seal. Look at this. I always love to do people's laundry. <laughs> it makes me so happy to see clean clothes. Clean clothes. Thank you for the help, dear. 
Here's your wages. Please come and help me again, dear. M maybe. I don't know. You kind of creep me out a little bit. <laughs> where, where to next? Oh. Oh, I actually do know. I heard that someone stashed a whole bunch of magnets in the maze. Wow. I'd better check that out. Holy shit, this is good knowledge. We need to keep this stuff in mind. Hey, Petey. You're back. I thought I'd scared you off. Uh... Guilt trip! Guilt trip! It's cool. I might feel the same way if it was the other way around. Feel what way? You know, I might not trust you either. Did I say that? Not with your words, but with your actions. I don't get it. If I was afraid of dogs, would you bring a pit bull for me to play with? It's the same here. I'm not cool with letting people hear it until it's finished. Why is that so hard to accept? Hmm. We need to make up with him. Let's ask about his film. Hi. I'm taking a survey. Could you tell me what your favorite movie is? Sure. Eight Miles an Hour. It's about a DJ who can't talk, but... Cool. The title's all I need. Thanks. Yeah, frankly, I'm not interested in you, Petey. I mean, I am. What the fuck am I saying? Um... Ah, the sweet sound of the school bell. Time to head home. But we're not heading home. No, we need to show off something. Something... well... Just... just watch. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Furniture Shop, the shop for furniture. Do you want the magical ability to teleport cheap furniture around the room your parents lock you in behind invisible walls? Have you ever noticed that TVs and entertainment stands are always sold and, in fact, come super glued together tighter than that time Nora Roberts and you experimented when you were 12 but grabbed the wrong lube? Do you desire your bedding, carpeting, and even beanbag chair to match the Hot Topic ripoff found in the only mall within a 100-mile radius? Then welcome to Furniture Shop! By simply following the only trail that leads into, and never out of, our warehouse of overstocked and conveniently homogenized themed furniture, you'll find your favorite bedroom cabinets, bizarre magnet boards, bookshelves filled with blank books, clothing dressers you'll never use because you keep all your outfits in a closet, desk and chair combos permanently affixed via cosmic forces, radios, strange portals to hostile sky dimensions, vases and vases with or without plants, and Vaseline. Here at Furniture Shop, we take pride in not only being the finest top-rated bedroom furniture and accessory establishment in the Charm Spring area, but also the only bedroom furniture and accessory establishment in the Charm Springs area. Certainly there was a time before the Bloody Furniture War of 1981 when the population of the town was reduced by seven-eighths, but now that the Furniture Czar is able to rule the land with a wooden fist, Furniture Shop is now able to supply furniture with the sacrifice of teachers' firstborn children and these low, low prices. Even if you're unable to purchase any furniture, either with dollars or blood, we'd like to thank you for visiting us and remind you that entrance through the front door is a unilateral agreement to donate your DNA for the growth of slave babies, later used to feed souls to the great and powerful furniture czar. Thank you, and have an awesome day. Thank you for your business. Right, so that happened. What does it say? Join the local craze of collecting all the fridge magnets? Uh, let's see, it's getting close to 2100. That's the time that I'm... Wait, wait. Nah, it's, it's time to share our knowledge. You'll never guess what I heard. Uh, yeah, let's share something juicy. What could be considered juicy? Uh, the Benny, Chuck, Chelsea. No, none of nobody cares about what other people think. Something about her parents won't let her date. Lots of Chelsea stuff here. Ah, here we go. I heard that someone stashed a whole bunch of magnets in the maze. I better head down there before they're all gone. Wow, I might have to beat that girl with whips and chains. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, this is such an old joke. Anyway, I think there's an ice cream parlor over here, and I've never been able to buy anything from it. Um, oh, I'll just click on that. Sit. Hi. 
How are you girls? No, don't get up. Well, at least Blondie's here with me. This is what girls do, right? They just sit down at tables with complete stranger girls. No, no boys. I just realized that there's almost no boys or men in this... in Charm Springs. Well, um... I need to put down some furniture. So, uh... Doodly -doo, doodly -doo, doodly -doo. There we go! Mm, perfect. And I think that's all of it. I should have got some carpets while I was at furniture shop. Yay, this is the results of all my hard dancing for creepers and their cameras. Anyway, I'm headed to bed. Hope you guys had a great day today. I know I did. What's wrong with my bed? G good night, everyone. <laughs>